Hey, what's up YouTube, it's ICU. And today I'm incredibly excited to show you how to jailbreak iOS 14 and not just 14.0, but the latest version as of recording this video being iOS 14.2 via CheckRain. Yes, that's right, this is in fact CheckRain and I couldn't be more excited. Reason being is that the CheckRain team just dropped a brand new update that includes support for not only the A10 and A10X devices, but also A11 in a preliminary form. And really quick, for new device owners, I'm talking everyone who has an iPhone XS all the way up to the iPhone 12, this does not include support for you. You will not be able to jailbreak with CheckRain. However, you will indirectly benefit from the release of this new CheckRain utility. Why? Because this is first and foremost a utility intended for security researchers, being able to discover brand new vulnerabilities and in turn exploit them in an environment that is already jailbroken is infinitely valuable to security researchers. Trust me guys, more vulnerabilities will come of this. Just like we saw last time with iOS 13, we're going to get brand new iOS 14 jailbreaks as an indirect result of this. Security researchers love CheckRain because again, it gives them an already jailbroken environment to work with and to discover these vulnerabilities. And one last quick thing to tack on to that too, if you're wondering when we're going to receive an iOS 14 jailbreak for newer devices, again, and everything from the iPhone XS to the iPhone 12, then check out my video that I put out yesterday. I'll have it linked in the cards as well as down below in the description. It's the latest iOS 14 jailbreak status update for everything that's not check rain. Again, you want to stay on iOS 14.1. And if you're on iOS 14.2, there is a very small window where you can downgrade back to iOS 14.1. So do not waste any time. And if you're already on 14.1 or lower, stay where you're at. That way you will ensure your best bet of being able to jailbreak. If you want to know why, check out yesterday's video. It's a literal treasure trove of information for those of you who are interested in jailbreaking. And even if your device is supported by CheckRain, even though it is capable of jailbreaking iOS 14.2 for you, I still don't recommend being on iOS 14.2 for all of the aforementioned reasons found in that video we just talked about, i.e. at some point you will be able to jailbreak without most of these restrictions we're going to talk about right now. Let's delve into the caveats of CheckRain for those of you who either A, do not remember, or B, who are brand new to the world of jailbreaking. Of course, you can find timestamps down below in the description, but we're going to be going over a few frequently asked questions first, so I highly recommend sticking around through this beginning segment. Okay, so first, this does mean that it only jailbreaks limited devices. Because this is CheckRain, that means that it does make use of a boot ROM exploit. That's something that Apple cannot patch without releasing new hardware. They've done that. They closed this with the release of the A12 CPU found in the iPhone XS. And of course, the A13 and A14 also have that patch as well. So this only works on up to the iPhone X. The reason why we're so excited and why we're talking about it today, again, is because the CheckRain team did add support for those latest devices included under the umbrella of the CheckMate exploit powering CheckRain. Okay, and this also means that you do need a computer because this does use that low level boot ROM exploit. The only way to actually deliver it is over a USB. So that's the only way to deploy this exploit. That's why you need a computer. And currently in its present form, you do in fact need a Mac. There are a couple of Windows workarounds, nothing from the official CheckRain team, but stay tuned, subscribe if you have yet to. I might be detailing those in the future if enough of you are are interested. However, you can always borrow a Mac from a friend if they happen to have one. And if you don't, you can always get your hands on one for this process. Now, finally, this is a semi-tethered jailbreak, which means that you do actually have to plug it into your computer and rerun a portion of the CheckRain utility every time your device boots up. 
Now, of course, you will still be able to use your device in its normal unjailbroken state without rerunning a portion of Chakrain to essentially re-enable your device's jailbreak. But again, if you want to do that and you want to use anything from Cydia, you've got to rerun Chakrain, basically. Okay, so those are all of the caveats. Now, the update today is that, again, this does include support for the A10 through the A11 processors. Now, originally with the release of iOS 14, Apple included an extra chakrain for the SEP or Secure Enclave processor on the device. Now, this has been defeated on the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus models, again, being the A10 CPUs. However, there's not a separate SEP ROM exploit for the A11 CPUs, being the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 8 models. Now, because of that, you will actually have to fully bypass SEP or the Secure Enclave processor. Now, that means you cannot have a passcode, touch ID, or face ID set up on your iPhone 8 or iPhone 10 model if you intend to jailbreak. You have to disable that before the process. That is incredibly important. So I urge you guys to follow these steps if you have yet to. If you're setting your device up for the first time, just make sure you disable it during setup. However, if you you already have one set, simply go to the settings application and then scroll down until you find face ID and passcode on the iPhone 10 or touch ID and passcode on the iPhone 8 and then simply turn it off. Turn off face ID, turn off touch ID, turn off your passcode all together. And once you do that, then you can actually proceed with this jailbreak tutorial. Okay, so with everything out of the way, let's proceed. All you guys really need is just the one link that you can find down below in the description, and it will redirect you to an article on my site, Best Tech Info. Now, currently it's just a download link, but shortly we're going to add a full written tutorial that reflects what's outlined here in this video guide. So be sure to bookmark it and check back if you want that written guide. However, just scroll down and look for the green check rain download button. Whenever you're actually following this tutorial, you'll find the download right there. It's super easy, super convenient for you guys. And of course, we would love it if you would support the channel by subscribing so that way you'll be notified when we release future jailbreak tutorials like this one. Next, once you are redirected, all you have to do is just look for where it says click here. Couldn't be any easier and you'll be redirected to the official Checkrain team website where you simply have to click get the beta now and then click on download for Mac OS. From there, it's going to place it inside of your downloads folder. And then from there, all you have to do is just double click on the .dmg or disk image file to mount it. And you'll receive a finder window that looks similar to this. And then just drag the big Checkrain application icon into your applications folder. Now, if you've used Checkrain in the past, you'll receive a message similar to this one, stating that Checkrain already exists in this location and asking you whether you want to replace it. If you do, just click on replace and it will update Checkrain to the latest version. If you've never used Checkrain in the past or you haven't used it on that computer, don't worry about it. You will not receive that pop up. Now, all you have to do is just try to open Checkrain. And once you do, you will receive this error message stating that Checkrain cannot be opened because the developer cannot be verified. That's fine. Just go ahead and click on cancel and then launch up system preferences. Once system preferences is open, go to security and privacy and then the general tab. Click where it says open anyway to the right of quote Checkrain and quote was blocked from use because it is not from an identified developer. Don't worry about these messages. They're just security precautions put in place by Apple. Apple. Now on this pop-up, you're going to simply click on open and there you go. Checkrain will launch successfully. Now at this point, you can connect your device to your computer via a standard USB cable. Now I'm going to take my iPhone 10 off of the dock because you cannot have a dock or third-party accessory sitting between your device's connection to your computer because it will not work. This exploit by nature does require a direct connection. Now you'll see a message at the top of Checkrain stating that the iPhone 10 is not supported on iOS 14.2, the latest firmware at this point. 
do not worry about this message. I want you guys first to just go inside of Finder and navigate to your device screen. If you have yet to trust the connection between your device and the computer, you need to do that. You'll see this pop up right here over in the left hand side of Finder under that iPhone section. Just tap on or click on, excuse me, trust and you'll tap on trust on your device right there and enter your passcode if you have one set. But remember, we need to disable it for the latest devices being the iPhone iPhone 8 and the iPhone 10 models. Again, the latest ones that are supported. So now that we're here at this point, we have that connection established between the two devices. We can close out of Finder and back inside of CheckRain. Obviously, we still have this message. That is, of course, because we have to disable that SCP check. So inside of Options, I want you guys to find where it says Skip A11 BPR Check toggle that option or check that box off right there. But it is so very important that you only check that box if you do in fact have an iPhone 8 or an iPhone 10. If you own anything else such as an iPhone 7 or an iPhone 6S, do not check that box only for the A11 processors, guys. And again, remember this box only gets checked off once you already have your passcode and touch ID for the iPhone 8 or face ID for the iPhone 10 fully disabled. You have to disable that first, as I've stressed a couple of times up until this point. If you have yet to do that, make sure you do it now. And if you're also watching this video at a later point and there's some firmware past iOS 14.2, also check off allow untested iOS, iPadOS, tvOS versions up at the top. Now we can go ahead and click back and we can proceed. You can see now we have a different message saying that the iPhone 10 global is only partially supported, continue at your own risk. So that's exactly where we wanna be at right now. And we can go ahead and proceed just by clicking on start and then followed by next. And it's just going to put the iPhone into recovery mode. This is required so it doesn't damage any of the data on your device. However, just note that you are using this application check rain at your own risk. It's definitely recommended that you create a backup in advance if you're at all concerned about your data. Of course, you can do that inside of Finder on Mac OS. Okay, so now that we're here, now that we have recovery mode on the iPhone. It's telling us we need to enter DFU mode to deliver the exploit and it's going to proceed to actually go through a countdown once we click on start. All you need to know for the iPhone 10 models is you have to hold down volume down in the side button for approximately four seconds, then release the side button and continue holding volume down. You will just have a black screen and you'll know you're inside of DFU mode because check rain will just continue. So let's go ahead and click on start. And I found that the timer is about one second off. So you wanna let go of the side button a little bit early and keep holding volume down. That's what I'm doing here in my left hand. And you can see that it says DFU mode entered successfully and it's just proceeding through the exploit process here. And it's actually going to jailbreak our device. So it says booting inside of check grain. And you'll see in a second, the scrolling text that's customary of check grain on the iPhone. And here we go, guys. I mean, at this point, it has already jailbroken the device and we're just waiting on it to boot up. So just give it a second or two. And now go ahead and unlock. And you shouldn't have check rain immediately, but in just a second, you'll see a check rain icon on your device appear in a blank spot. So just give it a second or two and it will pop up. You can see we now have check rain. Let's go ahead and tap on it. And then you can tap on city. If you get some sort of an issue talking about bootstrap, you need to enable Wi-Fi or cellular. You have to have an active internet connection to see this point right here. So then tap on Cydia followed by install Cydia and it's going to download the base system and install Cydia on your jailbroken device. And at this point, by the way, we can disconnect our device from our computer. We no longer need that connection. Everything's taking place on the device right now. And you can see that we have Cydia now to the right of the check rain icon and it works as expected. I'm going to tap on ignore temporary for this three essential upgrades, but I want you guys to actually tap on complete upgrade, upgrade everything that's available inside of Cydia. I'm ignoring it just so I can show you guys at the bottom that Cydia does in fact confirm in the identifying text here that this is an iPhone 10 comma three or a global iPhone 10 running iOS 14.2 with the latest version of Cydia. And now under the changes section, I'm actually going to install all of these available upgrades. So tapping on upgrade in the top right, followed by confirm, 
And you can see that Cydia does successfully install on the iPhone 10 on iOS 14.2. So absolutely awesome, guys. We can finally once again use CheckRain on the latest devices supported by the CheckMate exploit just so long as, again, you disable passcode and face ID on the iPhone 10 or passcode and touch ID on the iPhone 8. So that's it, guys. That's how to jailbreak using CheckRain on the supported devices. And if you need to know how to boot Tethered, it's really simple. Basically just follow this tutorial again from the point when we open up CheckRain. All you really have to do is just rerun through CheckRain as if you were jailbreaking your device for the first time. Don't worry, you won't lose any data. It's just going to boot your device into its tethered or jailbroken state, and you'll have access to Cydia and everything you've installed from Cydia too after your device reboots. But remember, you can always use your non-jailbroken stuff in the event your device does crash or reboot and you need to restart it and you don't have direct access to a computer immediately. And uh, again, like I said, if you have a newer device or you're planning on upgrading soon, just sit tight where you're at on iOS 14.1 or lower, ideally, because that is your best bet of being able to jailbreak those newer devices on iOS 14. That's everything I wanted to talk about in today's video. Hope it helped you out. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.